So what it crap is your boy Minilik Arnel, aka MN Kizzle, and this is a Bangkok Haps interview. Let's go. MN Kizzle is just a short acronym of my name, Minilik. And I just added a Izzle because I'm a big fan of Snoop Dogg. For shizzle, dizzle, of course. I'm also a DJ and a music producer. I've been doing music for like 15 years. What I love the most about music is just seeing people dance and enjoying the vibe. As an MC, I love people getting the message and getting the vibe and what I'm trying to like portray in terms of lyrics and in terms of, of style of music. If I have to qualify my music, it would be Afrofusion. You get me? I'm a hip hop artist, but I always like to infuse tribal sounds and Afro beats into the mix. I just like to keep it energetic. As a musician and artist from the Caribbean, we enjoy high tempo music and we love energetic music. So for me, it's only normal to make that type of music that would make you dance. I try to keep it positive. I try to keep my lyrics fun and enjoying so that people who listen to my music get a sense of positivity into their lives. The reason I chose Bangkok is I think this, this city is vibrant. There's a real sense of energy in this city that I think anyone can feed off of. As an artist, you have to go out, you can get to meet very successful people and they're all accessible. And what I love about this city is that it's actually boiling at the moment with the art scene. So every artist is very busy, everyone is trying to do their thing and it's only a matter of time before you connect with the right people and get some real creativity going. I think it has become a hub for creativity in the whole of Southeast Asia. So that's why I find my place very, very good in this city. It's very simple. I try to go where the hip hop and where the Afrobeat is. So for me, a regular weekend would be, of course, I have to hit up uh, Penta because there's the Afrofest Entertainment that does their Afrofusion on Sundays. I also love to go to Sugar because it's the number one hip hop club in Bangkok. But I also, you know, love to do my own events. I got one coming up at the last job soon. It's gonna be an all Afrobeat event. And to me, I think it's a good way of portraying our lifestyle and our culture in the city. So you get to go to those places and you communicate with people that are also in love with that style of music. I also love to go to the Jam Box because that's a place for me to meet fellow musicians. Jambox has allowed me to meet so many talented people right here in Bangkok. It's amazing to see that we're all here at the same time and how we did not meet each other before. I mean, come on. You can find me on YouTube, uh, MN Kizzle, so that's M-N-K-I-Z-Z-L-E. You'll find all my music videos that I've done in the past, but you'll also find my new vlogs that I put out on a weekly basis. And it's mainly about subjects that may relate to the creative professionals and the music industry in general. So we talk about inspiration, we talk about fair, we talk about negotiation or even networking as an artist and how you can actually navigate into the industry by using our tips and advices. If you want to know more about my music, feel free to check out my website, minileakarnell.com. That's where you'll find my music videos, my vlogs, and of course, my beats. You can buy these beats and you'll find all types of beats from hip hop ranging to Afro beats. So go on there and you'll probably find the next hit for your project. Thank you guys so much for inviting me. I love Bangkok Haps. I mean, they've been a great support for me. And of course, you guys need to check out the website as well, bangkokhaps.com. Let's go.